Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to be playing a completely new game. Well, it's new for me, probably not new for anyone here, but yeah. Um, we're not playing Spl uh, Splatoon 3, we will be playing Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I'm very excited to be playing this. This is also my, uh, first commentary- oh. I forgot about that. Um. Mm, say don't import. Um. Yeah, this is hopefully going to be my first, uh, fully commentary uh, playthrough of uh, on the channel. So yeah. Um, I have finished Pikmin 1. I started the Dream Den, which is the final level of uh, Pikmin 2 today. Um, that did not go very well. <laughs> I got about halfway through before I needed to um, retreat using the geyser on a Sub-level 9, I think, is where the geyser is. It's like the rest floor. Yeah, so, uh, that's still uh, a work in progress, I guess. So I'm not done with Pikmin 2. I do know how Pikmin 2 ends. Um, and I know uh, how Pikmin 3 ends already. Let's just say I watch a lot of Chugga Conroy. Right? <laughs> so let's get started. Uh, we'll be doing the, uh, story- why is story so washed out? <laughs> or so bright, I guess. Well, I, I guess now it's, uh, now it's easier to see. Uh, yeah, let, uh, actually, let me see options real quick. Let's control guide. Settings. What's this? Gyro. Uh, let's try it. Let's try on. Um. Okay, well, let's, just let's just stick with this for now. <laughs> Control guide. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, like, getting used to the controls again, because I've been playing the, I've been playing the, uh, the Wii version of Pikmin 1 and 2 on a Wii U. Hey, bear. My cat's wondering what I'm doing. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, let's actually get started. <laughs> One player. Let's actually get started with this. Let's start a new save file. And, uh... Let's start off with normal. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called Sparrow out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilize to investigate the planet which they name PNF-404. Profi's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. At last, the explorer's 279,000 light year voyage nears its end. They initiate the landing sequence. Something is horribly wrong. Ooh, 
Cool, I'm excited to play this. I did play the uh, demo and I made a video about that. So, uh, yeah. I'm excited to get back into it. Ugh. What happened? Where am I? The last thing I remember was... Oh, of course! This must be PNF 404. Charlie to ship! Charlie to ship! Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There is no response. Where's my ship? My crew! I forgot he had that music! <laughs> I managed to escape un I managed to escape unscathed. But what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. So we have a uh, data file here telling us how to move. Uh we got a hint mode. Yeah, we got that. Okay. So we can uh, we can move. Let's press up on the hints. Keep moving ahead. Thanks, game. <laughs> oh, what in the? It's a tiny yellow ant. There are more of them. So strange. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are you coming closer? My whistle can uh, scare him off. I can sound it with B. Stay back! I'm surrounded! Maybe I should throw them. I can't let it end like this. Get away from me! I got a little uh, confused by the gyro controls for a second there. <laughs> they don't appear to be hostile. So let me get this straight. I can round these creatures up by pointing at them and pressing B. And throw them with A. So this is how you uh, whistle Pikmin over. Um, they will come to you when you whistle them. And you can uh, aim them. And uh, throw them. They're apparently okay with being thrown by stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, I see how this works. I see how this works now. See, I had the... Um, I had the... Uh, regular controls um, back when I did the demo and I hated that. <laughs> I want something that feels a little bit like the uh, Wii Remote and Nunchuck, which is how you play the um, the Wii versions of the uh, first two games. Uh, let me see. Oh, okay, I'm kind of getting it now. Oops. <laughs> Wrong button. Let me throw these, um, uh, Pikmin. Right, that's how it's done. And I'll just go and attack the mushrooms. Alright, come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. I should look around for my crew. It's our stick to check my surroundings. And pressing zero, let me see what's in front of me. Boop. There we go. And we got 30 of these. Mysterious yellow creatures following us. Oh, I see something for later. This is too hard to break. Better look for another world. I actually didn't know he said anything about that. <laughs> Go 
Go, Pikmin, go! I mean, go, mysterious creatures that I do not know the name of. Go. They probably like breaking mushrooms. Alright, come on. All 30 of you, let's go. You just got sure are dedicated. What are those? They look dangerous. Oh no, they're coming closer! Wow, that's bright. The light is chasing away those enemies. But it didn't chase away that one. Well, I guess Charlie's dead. Man, he kind of seemed like a good character, too. Would have liked to see some more character development for him. Well, it was handy of uh, Alf and his ship to crash in the same place. <laughs> It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Just as the SSS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members, as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. So, uh, this is Alf. He's blue. Keep going, you might just encounter a curious, a rather curious creature. Thanks, game, for spoiling that. Oh, it's scary! What was that? Gary, come back! Gary! It appears that that specimen I just spotted has company. And what's that stuck in that branch? Is there anything I can do? Lock onto the red fruit with ZR. And yeet those Pikmin on there. Nice! It's a magical flying fruit! I was hoping that, was fr that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edi edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellows seem quite pleased now that it's freed. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. Some more uh, camera controls. Hey, they're following me. Hey, you. Come here. This pile of rubble. So, maybe you've heard it, maybe you didn't. Um, I called that one red Pikmin Gary. What I do is, um, is I give uh, each Pikmin a name. Well, I guess each... Color Pikmin a name. Um, and the first red Pikmin is always named Gary. I have names for all the Pikmin. Uh, don't worry about which one's Gary. They'll all eventually become Gary eventually. <laughs> and don't worry, guys. Every, every red Pikmin will be eventually become Gary. <laughs> the bridge is almost built. Okay, come on, guys. We're almost done. Oh my gosh, it's a Wii U gamepad! My co-pad! Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. They can't exactly get over there yet, Alf. The bridge is not built yet. Hmm. Doesn't look like I could climb up that. Yeah. Oh, we're almost done. 
Here we go. There we go. Hey, guys. Come on. This way. This way, Garys. Yahoo! So we have a map now. That's good. Great. Still works. Of course, I expect nothing less from Copite engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Copad screen. Use L to check your surroundings. Where's the Drake? So we're using our map to go locate it, and we found it! Aha! This is Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. Now we can start exploring with the help of the copad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, just staring to the camera. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so this is a pellet posy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that Pikmin doing? <laughs> this is a pellet posy. And uh, the number on it shows how many Pikmin it needed to carry. And of course, uh, two Pikmin can actually carry uh, one at a time. And because the uh, color of the pellet matched the color of the Pikmin, we get a uh, bonus Pikmin. That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. And they're, they're still going. Alright, come on, Gary. Oh my goodness, this, they, they sprout instantly. This is a red Pikmin. Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. So he just ripped them out of the ground. <laughs> and uh, the first two games you had to wait for the, uh, the uh, leaves to come up from the Pikmin. It's a little frustrating when you're on a time limit. We're actually not on a time limit today because this is the, the first day. So we're gonna get. Ah! <laughs> we both screamed at the same time. Uh, I believe these are called female shear grubs. Oop. Hang on, guys. I gotta use, gotta use the gyro controls. Can one of you get it? There. There we go. I believe these are female shear grubs. They do not harm your pickin'. Males, on the other hand, oh boy. Let's not get into the males for now. <laughs> Male shear grubs are one of the uh, more annoying enemies I've had to face so far in my brief-ish Pikmin journey. Hey, you guys, come over here. Come back over here. Okay. Alright, come on. Come on. I want it to go faster! Make it go faster! So the more Pikmin you have on something, the faster it goes. There we go. I think 10 Pikmin is the maximum for the 5 Posey. We'll just go and uh, plug all these sprouts. Oh, good. We have uh, auto plucking. That's nice. Now I don't have to just press A over and over. We got 21 Pikmin in the uh, squad. What is an enormous thing? The Drake must be somewhere on the other side of it. So you might notice a 20 here. That's how many Pikmin you need to. Um, Uh, push it. Push! Go, Pikmin, go! What's that? Oh, 
Looks like somebody left a data file here. Perhaps the copad will be able to read it. He, he's like, so sparkly. <laughs> Ooh. The onion is uh, like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them a shelter. So that red thing is called an onion. It's where the Pikmin live. Excellent. The copad can read the data file. So these Pikmin are called- these creatures are called Pikmin? I was about to say these Pikmin are called creatures. <laughs> this information might come in handy later. I'll save it in the copad's exploitation notes. This man really downloaded an app telling him Pikmin are called Pikmin. <laughs> I don't think Captain Charlie wrote the data, this data file. So who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? No, there's nothing intelligent here. Have you seen Pikmin AI? <laughs> uh, man, I got some... I got some stories about Pikmin AI from the first two games. <laughs> According to the Raider, the Drake should be through here. So we can get through here. Ooh, it's a little cave. It's never data file. Oh, I guess you just change it in the settings. Well, what if I don't want to? Wow, these are massive. But they don't look edible. Go, Pikmin, go! Is a giant wall. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life? Now would be a good time to press X to perform a charge attack. Go, Pikmin! Woohoo! I'm just spinning the- <laughs> I'm just spinning the pointer around <laughs> while I wait, because I, I actually can't move. I, I, I literally cannot move. <laughs> there we go. My crew could learn a lot from this kind of teammate. Good teamwork. I hope the Drake is okay. Where'd the Pikmin go? <laughs> there it is! The SS Drake! The copad isn't picking up any signs of, of life in the immediate area. Look how concerned he is. <laughs> What am I supposed to do now? Incoming transmission. Who could it be? Alf! It's me, Brittany! Do you copy? Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starved! Brittany, no! Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful she appears to be safe and sound. What's that strange sound? The sun is setting, which me could mean that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet surface for now. Well, guys, we have officially completed the first day. Ah, it's the ending song! I like this song. I hope they keep this song for uh, Pikmin 4 when that comes out. Most of the supplies we brought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So now we only have three days worth of edible provisions left.
Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. So once you run out of provisions, that's it. The game's over, and you go back to... I guess you go back to Kopai. I've actually never seen the, a game over in Pikmin 3 before. So this is how our first day went. I'd say it's pretty good. No oh, Pikmin lost? I mean, I, I guess you can't possibly... <laughs> Sorry, his face. I guess we, you can't possibly uh, lose Pikmin on the first day. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake. But our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be get going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany, and we set out to find her tomorrow. When I took sh uh, took off in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. And now the real fun begins, with the timer that lasts about 13 minutes in each day. So we've unlocked a new area, the Guardian of Hope. I've tracked down Brittany's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest pr priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kopai. That would be very, very bad. So we have two areas, Tropical Wilds, which is where we just were, and uh, the Garden of Hope. Uh, let's press for Y real quick and uh, check in with everyone. You know, I guess everyone's just out. Brittany, I'm coming to help you now. So uh, let's, let's go ahead and start day two. So starting with this day, we will now have a timer that lasts about roughly about 13 minutes, I think. Man, the onion looks so cool. <laughs> Once those 13 minutes are up, um, we all head back to the uh, back in the space, uh, so we don't get, uh, I guess, hunted by the nocturnal predators. Uh, Brittany should be around here. Something is uh, flashing on my map. Maybe it's her. I'm running out of sustenance. I hope I find her before it's too late. Oop. Well, you just saw the timer flash on the, the top screen. Or the top of the screen. Looks like the onion has followed me here. So where are the Pikmin? They're all in an onion. Yahoo! Oh, that's right. The data file I found to explain all this. The onion is the Pikmin's nest. So this is how you take your Pikmin out of your onion, is you just walk in the, and you just go into the night. I'm going to install an application on the copad that lets me check the Pikmin status rem remotely. Okay. We got some, uh... Oh, I guess they just come to you automatically. So, uh, let's build up our numbers a little bit. A butterfly is, uh, gonna be fed to the onion. <laughs> Dwarf Bulbor. Aim for its back and for victory. Uh, unfortunately, I have, like, notoriously bad aim with these guys, as I've learned from Pikmin 2. <laughs> Oh wow, that was actually pretty spot on. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have a bridge here. Uh, let's charge some Pikmin onto that. We got a data file under that. Uh, press and release X. Oh, okay, that doesn't have a charging. We already know about charging, we just did charging.
Oh, I missed it, but they took the, uh, the pigment took the bulb orb into the, um, onion. Kind of like what they did with the, uh, sheer grubs. Yeah, sure, we'll just, we'll just go ahead and start plucking these. Alpha's, uh, speedrunning the, the plucking of the Pikmin. <laughs> Charge on that. See, I didn't miss anything. I didn't miss anybody, right? Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Just waiting for the wall to come down. There we go. Uh, we'll throw another Pikmin onto that. Uh, we'll charge onto that. And we'll grab this data file. So once uh, Pikmin are done transporting fragments, they will return to the original uh, location of the fragments. Well, the, well, where they will wait for you to come pick them up. As Pikmin develop, they get... Okay. <laughs> Did not expect to get an achievement there. As Pikmin develop, they get faster. They grow from leaf to bud to flower. So our leaf pigment are actually baby pigment. Are you guys done? Okay. No, I wanted to pluck. I didn't want to throw. Uh, let's go break open these eggs. The flower bloomed on that pigment's head. It's amazing how many plant-like qualities they possess. I'm ready, put me in, coach! Put me in! <laughs> I wonder if they develop any new skills with that flower. I'll have to keep a close eye on them. Well, I mean, I guess they just get stronger and faster. So unlike previous games, Pikmin, uh, the Pikmin here do not immediately just drink an entire drop of nectar by themselves. Thank goodness. Oop. Oop. Oh, come back. I thought I could charge them all into the, the nectar drop. It didn't work. <laughs> Worth a shot. Ooh, we got a, we got a, we got a big bulb here. here. Shh. Shh. It's asleep. I think we can sneak up on it. <laughs> we can uh, attack from behind. Gain advantage. And we can also hide. I don't know if you could hide in the previous games or not. I'm actually not sure. Oop, go! Wow! I actually took that out pretty fast. Oop, and there they go. There you go, Maximum Pikmin. On that bulb orb. I believe that's a spotty bulb orb. Anyway, let's, let's call him back. Uh, let's see. Probably can't go this way yet. Does Alf say anything? No. Nope. Okay. Alrighty. Let's plug all these Pikmin. It's always good to have a lot of uh, Pikmin with you. Uh, let's charge all the Pikmin on here. Uh, this is an electrical gate. We won't be able to get to that yet. Uh, let's go up here. Oop. We found Brittany! Oh no, Bernie's just laying there, or lying there. I hope I'm not too late. Quick, call her cell phone. Pick up, Brittany. Pick up. Please don't be alive. Alf, sorry about that. I was just taking a little nap. So you're close by? Yeah, we're like two walls away. Alf can somehow see through walls, apparently. 
Why wasn't I moving, you ask? <laughs> well, you know me. I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with all these creatures creeping about around. But never mind that. Listen, I discovered what, lo what looks like a piece of fruit. It's over there. Quick, let's get the fruit. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Can you go and check it out for me? Can they actually see each other from where they are? I mean, there's like two walls in between them. How do... Oh, okay, so we just got our first uh, quarter of the day marker. That's what that bell sound means. Wow, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. But this giant thing really is fruit, and we've hit the jackpot. I like to analyze it at the Drake. But how do I get, a get it there? Why don't you ask the Pikmin? I mean, you know, the... it's kind of their job. Um, we'll just throw three more Pikmin on that. Here, we'll get it there faster. Speed run this sucker. Um, red Pikmin. Oh, red Pikmin are good fighters. Uh, they're also fireproof. Which, uh, I don't know if we've gotten into that yet. Probably not. What? What is that thing? To defeat the flying creatures, use A to throw Pikmin. Okay, <laughs> Drake, I don't think this is a good time. <laughs> we're we're kind of trying to save a species of Pikmin. Oh, the Drake is sending us a message. Drake, this is not the time. <laughs> Analyzing recovery. This is a sunseed berry, also known as a strawberry. Large quantities of Pikmin U detected. This is a seed-bearing fruit, making cultivation on Kopai possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. So we have just earned a day of uh, supplies. I'll add a fruit file to the Kopad, where we can store the results of our analysis. That was so hard for me to say. So we now have fruit. Download it onto our uh, Wii U gamepad. That's uh, also a camera. But since I don't know much about plants, I'll ask Brittany to write the reports. She's the botanist, after all. Alright. Now back to saving a species of pig. <laughs> Go! 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 Woo! We did it! Rock Pikmin. I will call you Crystal. Are these creatures Pikmin too? You're giving me a funny look. Do they want to break it? They seem like Pikmin. They seem to be Pikmin as well. Let's throw these over here. These are rock Pikmin. They run into things. It's actually adorable. <laughs> there, that should do the trick. So, their onion was trapped inside that crystal. Hence why I'm naming one of you Crystal. Since I have two types of Pikmin now, I can select the ones I want to use with L and R. So we can now, uh, we now have the ability to switch Pikmin. And when I want to split them up by type, I will use Y to, dismiss, to dismiss the squad. We press Y to dismiss the squad. Okay. Ah! That scared, that scared me. <laughs> Here, you guys pick that up. Get some food and seeds out of it. Yesterday's foes, today's food. Wow, nature is unforgiving. <laughs> oh, yes. Pikmin in a nutshell. Let's uh, break this open. We got here. Are these, oh, these are rock Pikmin pellets. Oh, it's, it's uh, two Pikmin just uh, Hey, 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 where do you think you're going? Save that for the rocks. Alright, you two work on that. Uh, I will 
Let's see you guys back over here. Uh, throw those there. Uh, we got a data file here. Rock Pikmin are very hard. Like, rocks. It's probably what they're called, Rock Pikmin. <laughs> Okay, thank you for that data file. New sprouts will be the same uh, color as the Pikmin that retrieved the pellet or creature. Which is why I whistled that red Pikmin back um, when he picked up the um, the rock pellet, the gray pellet. Because that would have gone to the uh, red Pikmin and would have not gone to the um, rocks. So we'll just make our way out here, and uh, I very quickly want to go back and get those six uh, reds that we sent back to the ship. Do, do, do. I think it goes back this way. Yeah. You guys, come over here. All right. Uh, you guys will eventually learn that I'm a very paranoid Pikmin player. <laughs> Everyone must be in the squad at all times. <laughs> so, uh, this wall we couldn't break uh, earlier. We had one in the camp. Uh, we can uh, use the rocks to break it. We call it back here. Which actually, I want to go break. Um, I want to go break that one real quick. But like, not not go through there just yet. But like, I just want to break it. <laughs> So we don't have to worry about it later. Alright, come back. We all here? Yeah, we're all here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to rocks, because I think we need a no we have another yeah, there's a never glass barrier or crystal barrier. Uh Guarding Brittany. Uh, some rock uh, eggs here. Here we go. You guys drink that. Uh, let's see if we can break that. Uh, yeah. You guys all drink that nectar. Okay. One day I'll figure out a better way of uh, rushing Pikmin on the nectar. At least getting the nectar. Oh, hang on. There's never data file here. Hang on, Brittany. I'm coming. On the copad's radar, align that with your destination and select go here with A to start moving. Huh, I wonder who these people are. Hmm. There's even a data file about this. Now that I think about it, there was indeed a go here function built into the radar. We should try it out soon. It seems like it'd be helpful if we decide to split into multiple squads. So, uh, now we go get Bernie. Alpha, go wing! I can't break through this wall. Don't worry, I got Pikmin. So here we go, we found a member of our squad. For space crew. Woo! I can't tell you how happy I am to get out of this place. I'm sick of sleeping outside. And I'm super hungry. Uh, what's with your entourage there? What's that you say? They're called Pikmin. They're cute. But we don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Alfie. We don't have time for cuteness! Proceeds to call Alpha cute name. Let's work together and have that huge piece of fruit. Okay. Throw me. As, as soon as... There we go. Throw me. Where are you? <laughs> okay. Hang on. There we go. Throw me. I just I just threw you. Okay, let's throw some Pikmin. Okay. I'll take it from here. Press Y and select me if you'd be so kind. Alright. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I see. I thought that was the, the D-pad. <laughs> we, we're halfway through our day now. Oop. There we go, we got seven Pikmin working with us. Alright, let's let's go Alf back into our squad, and uh, let's go follow them. Because like I said, I'm a paranoid Pikmin player. I gotta follow the Pikmin at all times. Uh, there were some accidents in uh, Pikmin 1 and 2 that led to Pikmin being lost because I wasn't with them I'm watching them. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll I'm sure I'll probably I'll try to be like less paranoid about the Pikmin, but yeah. Alright. They'll be fine. Let's go back over here. I'll be fine. See? New throat recovered. See? They're already at, they're already at the drink. They're fine. Uh, let's throw that there. Oop. We'll slow you back. No, come back. Oop, oop. <laughs> Sorry, Elf. I mistook you for Pikmin. Okay. Little rock Pikmin, you go back there. Uh, let's also throw you there. Uh, you pick up that pellet, and then you go back to your onion. Are, are you not gonna go back to your onion? Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here for this data file. Uh, pellet retrieved by the Pikmin sprout. Uh, the same color produced more sprouts. This is uh, kind of what I tried to explain earlier, except I guess the game did it better. There we go. So we got enough. Uh, one more. Uh, I guess I should probably try to follow them back, uh, just because. Uh, uh, I just remembered that the uh, rock Pikmin onion is uh, not into Drake. Instead, it's back here. Yeah, there we go. Hello, guys. I'm back here. Good job, guys. Uh, let's see what time. How much time are we at? Uh, we're at 48 minutes. It's a little over 48 minutes, okay. Here we go. And those rock Pikmin should be- there they are! Let's throw some more onto you. What? Okay. <laughs> Pikmin AI. Oh no. Here we go. We've got seven carrying back that lemon, I believe, yeah. All right, let's uh, progress a little further uh, back here. Uh, let's see, I think I wanna break this, yeah. Break that. Just get them! Get them! Yeah! Good job, guys. Uh, pick up one more. Uh, throw that. Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah! Good job, guys. Let's pick up this data file. Break the crystal nodule for a chance to attack. Oh. Oh, come on, you two! I just... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Welcome to Pikmin AI. <laughs> Although, so far, I actually don't have any complaints about it. It's been... It's been, uh... Wow. It's been pretty reliable so far. I mean, I still have, like... I, I still have a feeling I didn't want to babysit them, but... Other than that... 
Yeah. Uh, oh, it looks like there's some, uh, ooh. Put some reds on the dat. Uh, so you guys carry the back. There's, there's like a red, there's like a red running around. I think he's trying to find a spot. Aw, oh, did you not find a spot? Come here. Here, you can join back with the team. Charge that. Uh, probably go pick up the fragments. Yep, there they go. Come on, guys. Oop. No, you guys keep carrying the fragments. Okay. I like how they pause uh, before actually coming to you if they're doing something. Because, my goodness. That was that was an issue I kept having in the uh, first two games where I'd try to whistle some of them. And everyone would come back. Oh, Neo. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, we should probably go pick up this rock pick then. Um, no, that's not it. What's the map? Oh, there we go. Um, where did the rock pickmen go? Oh, here they are. Oh, okay, I guess we're just going here automatically. I was trying to, um, toss all out, uh, out, not all, <laughs> wrong game. <laughs> Uh, wrong character, wrong game series. Oh, I'm f from Fire Emblem. <laughs> Let's try to kick, uh, Alf out of the, um, squad. That's okay. We'll, ju we'll just go all together. Let's automatically run here. The day's almost over and I didn't want to, uh, accidentally forget all these rock pikmin. Or at least the seedlings. So how how do we I guess Okay, I guess that, that works. Uh let's see. We'll just have Brittany go back to the Drake. There we go. Whoop. It'll be sundown before too long. Alf, didn't you mention that nocturnal predators will attack any stray Pikmin? Oh thank you! Looks like Pikmin in the area of the nest thing we call an onion can get back on their own, though. Thank you for marking where the base is. This is partly why I'm such a paranoid Pikmin player. Because <laughs> I never knew, like, wherever they'd go. So, important thing about Pikmin is to make sure everyone is either in your squad or close to the onion when the sun sets. Because those nocturnal predators will feast. I better call back the Pikmin who are in my squad before it's too late. But it could be tiring to walk around everywhere to collect all the Pikmin. So I'll just make sure that when you press A near the SS Drake, a whistle sound a whistle will sound a whistle will be a whistle will be sound that will call all Pikmin back to the onion. I don't know why I had trouble reading that sentence. Oop, we have our one minute timer. And there are no Pikmin in the field. Good I I know that uh Rock Pikmin would have been safe here, but I just want to have everyone in my squad. Uh, we'll just automate the uh, go here command. There you go. We'll have the off in our squad. So unlike the demo where I uh, intentionally speed ran it <laughs> and did the first boss in the first day, I think. I'm taking- I'm gonna be taking things a bit slower. We obviously we didn't do that. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh... Yeah. I've arrived! Yeah, this is, uh, this is Pikmin 3. We could eat, uh, end the day early, but I just want to make sure there's, like, no, like, random Pikmin left out in the field. Oop, that was the wrong button. Just want to make sure. I mean, I don't see any 
Pikmin left in the field, but... Well, I, I, okay, I guess there's, like, zero... It says up there, there's zero Pikmin in danger. Okay. It's all tense. No way! Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you're a new player, that might actually be helpful. <laughs> Oh, I see. Hints give you arrows. Okay. It's all the arrows. Let's see how far we can get. What? Now, what could this be? The raider's picking something up. The raider is detecting a signal of some sort. Maybe it's a new type of food. I mean, if food is, uh, if food is a, 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 a signal, I don't think it'd be safe to eat. <laughs> Let's go look and... Let's go and look right away. Brittany, we literally have less than a minute left. I don't think we will be. Oh, red pigment are resistant to fire. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, we got one more data file. Let's pick that up. Rock pigment are crushed when trampled on. Oh, there's a wally log there. Uh, let's leave. <laughs> we'll deal with that th tomorrow. <laughs> And by tomorrow, I mean, like, the next day in the in the game. Whee! We got our 10-second countdown. If there are any Pikmin in danger, this is now is your last chance to get them. But we have everyone in our squad. So I think we're good. Three... Two. One. That's game. Oh, zero. Now it's game. I'm assuming they... I'm assuming they escorted the rock pigmen back to the, the rock onion. <laughs> Alright, it's launch time. But it's not lunchtime for the bad guys. Yeah, that's right, Spotty Bowl. We'll just keep walking around the area aimlessly. So now the Rock Pikmin's Onion has joined us. Very interesting. The two of them merged into one. I'll make note of this fascinating behavior. Different colored onions confuse into a single onion. You have no idea how, how like, awesome this is for me, because, like, you used to have, like, three onions. And you used to have to go and, like, select a color from each onion. Let's go analyze the other fruit, too. So here's our new fruit. The face wrinkler. That makes one cup, and a little more of a second one, about half. Got ourselves a sunseed berry. There's another cup, and a little extra. I'll ration out the juice. No extra gulps for everyone. Or for anyone. Good. We still have plenty of juice left. Now's the end of day two. So far, so good. Nope, no Pikmin died. We got a bunch of Pikmin. We unlocked rocks. That's good. Let's see who's writing the journal entry. It's, uh, Alf again. Okay. Back on board. We ran an analysis on the fruit retrieved and found it suitable for a copite consumption. It looks like there's plenty more where that came from. Reuniting with Brittany, finding this fruit. It's still early, but things seem to be taking a turn for the better. Alf.
so here is what oh my goodness it's almost it's over an hour <laughs> we finally discovered edible matter after a close analysis my conclusion is that the fruit juice is delicious i've never tasted anything like that on kopai we need to contribute we need to, bleh, we need to continue our search if there is more to be had we should have it right let's focus all of our energy on finding more fruit and absolutely nothing else we still need the the cosmic drive key. We can't get home without that. Right. Let's focus on all our energy on retrieving the fruit and the key. And absolutely nothing else. The the captain. We, we still need to find a captain as well. Right. So we'll just get the food, the key, and the captain. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? <laughs> What's that signal coming from over there? I sincerely hope it's the captain. Let's hurry over there and find out. Good idea. He might be hogging all the fruit for himself. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, this is where we'll be ending off this video. So, uh, I'll see you guys later.